Hello friends. If you remember a week or so ago I made all these um, ephemera pieces in the theme of my butterflies because I'm making a butterfly journal. I use my design sheets and I've printed out some more of them. Um, I've printed this one out twice because I wanted it on cardboard so I'm going to back this one with brown paper. That's going to be ooh, uh, it's going to be an element for the front page, for the cover. I'll talk about that more at a later stage. So I've printed out a few of these. Some of these I think you saw in the um, original video where I cut them all down. I don't think I used that one. That would be a nice journal page. And what I've done, I've backed some of them with... I've, I've printed this off paler onto the back. So I've got some backing. But I'm also going to add some additional backing pieces to these journal pages. So they're lots of fun. Oh, I'm quite excited to get going with this, but I'm going to glue this down first of all. I'm just try trying to decide what I ironed it. Quite a nice thick card. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use three in one glue, but the trouble is it needs a lot of it. I don't think glue stick is going to hold it though. I thought I'd use the brown paper because it goes with the theme that I've used for this journal as well as the butterfly theme. I've got the recycled theme going. Right. I'm just going to use a lot of this stuff and this stuff isn't cheap. I want to make sure I get it to the edges. Gosh, I'm going to use a lot of this. I'm going to move quickly as well. See it drying off already. Right, this should do it. This should do it. Right, make sure I get it to the edges. Oh, it smells lovely. I love the smell of this stuff. but I think that's probably cut out of the design anyway so I'm not going to worry too much about that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it under a book and leave that to dry overnight I might work on that tomorrow right so I've got to decide what size is I'm going to go because I printed this out on A4 paper but my printer won't let me do borderless unless I do it on photo paper at different sizes won't let me do a, a photo paper on A4 so I'm going to trim off all the edges. So um, I'll come back when I've done that because you don't really want to see that, do you? No. Well, so they're beautifully trimmed now. I really love them like this. Now, some of them have got backs on. But the ones that haven't got backs, I'm going to put some extra backs on. And I'm going to sew around the edges. And I've got an idea for a pocket as well. Oh, no, I'm confused. Right. These are the ones without backs. Okay, it's quite a lot without backs. Okay, so these I'm going to back with some fancy papers that I've got. Okay, so I've got a pile of the papers together now, and I think um, this is going to be one signature. I've done an awful lot of sewing. I've got some hidden pockets, but I'm not going to do the actual flip through until the actual end. I've got a slight boo-boo here, though. I've made a mistake. I accidentally cut off a bit here. I don't know, I don't know how I did it, but... I think I dropped something at the same time this was in the guillotine. <laughs> Can't remember what happened, but yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. So I'm going to have to do something to cover that up, but um, it's going to be a design feature. <laughs> uh, so now I've got to work on the cover. Uh, I've, got, I've got one idea that I'm trying to figure out how to do it, and I love the idea. I've used some of the brown paper, look. So pleased about that. So, so these, so we're getting there, we're getting there. So I'm going to get my pile of bits and pieces together so we've got all these ready so that's the signatures the ephemera and now I've got to sort out the cover but this is a, such a fun project I'm really enjoying it very much indeed right so let's get the cover sorted so what I want to do is have a fabric cover so I'm going to back this with some card 
I'm not going to do a wrap around just because of my final piece that I'm not showing you yet. So I think that'll be quite nice. So yes, it needs firming up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it larger than the inserts. I'm going to attach it to card, some light card, and then I'm going to sew all the way around the edges. Okay, so I use this lovely dus dusky pink velvet, gorgeous stuff, and I've just sewn it onto this paper which has coordinating colours. I've got to try and remember which is the right way up because the stems go up like that, I think, mostly. So now I've zigzagged all the way around. I'm just going to trim all this with the proper scissors all the way around the edge. Love it. Right. What I'm going to do for the cover is I'm going to have this wrapping around. It's going to be ribbon attaching it. So that's why I chose this colour background. It's going to be lovely. <laughs> Love it. Right, now I'm going to do the, oh, the bit I like least, which is sewing the signatures in. Now I've got 10 pages here together. So, I think I can manage that. In, I see, I was thinking, well, should I do one signature? I really wanted only to do one signature, so I'm going to try and do that. Lovely, jubbly. Look at that, it goes nice. And then with that round, can you just see it now? Oh, and I've got all the bits that we hanging out of it. Right, let's get my bodger tool. We're gonna to do it all in a one or are we? Okay, let's see if I can get my clips. I need my clips to hold things together. So three times the length. One, two, three. I might have to mute myself because I always do a bit of swearing when I am doing this difficult job those good scissors away so I might have to mute myself because I get very stressed doing this and it's hard on the hands to get in there you know okay all right that's the middle one sound good when I did that. Oof, right, done that. Now I've got to do the difficult part. That's threading the needle. <laughs> oh, dear me. Which I much prefer a, a, a single signature journal. It's like a notebook, really. Oh, dear, I can't get the needle threaded. Oh, no. Okay. Right, I'm going to go in the middle. Just a simple pamphlet stitch for this. It's a lovely little book. Um, back through there. Oof. There we go. Pull it tight. Go through the bottom. Lovely jubbly. that tight and then back through the middle Also known as a weaver's knot. Oops. Okay. Cut that short. Move these. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I need to find some ribbon for this. Oh, I love it. This is the reason why I've got a large eyelet on this. So I could fit as much ribbon through as I possibly could. Right, I'm going to tie a knot. But I'm going to leave enough of the knot hanging out. And tidy up those ends. Right. Same on the back. But this time I'm going to use blue ribbon with this ribbon. Just want plenty of ribbon for it because it's probably going to wrap around as well as tie. I don't know. I haven't decided on that bit yet until I experiment with it. Come on, go through the hole. Tie a nice big luscious bow. Now what I need to do now is perhaps add some danglies somewhere. I love it! Oh my gosh! This turned out better. There was a point. I had the idea in my head. And then, as I was beginning to do it, I was beginning to think, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, but it does. I was thinking, is it too butterfly-y? But you can never be too butterfly-y, can you? Right. This is going to go up for sale in my Etsy shop, by the way, because I do not need another journal. It's not going to go for much. It's not as expensive as, like, the, um, the recent journal I did that was the Shipping News. It's not going to be as expensive as that, because I didn't need to spend much money on this one. Well, let's get some danglies on here, shall we? Yeah, we're going to put some eyelets in. That's fun. <laughs> it's a bit difficult being as I've already done it now. Let's do some smaller eyelets. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is put a ribbon end clasp on the bottom of the butterfly here and then attach something to it. But I think I'm going to attach the thing to it first. Um, let's get the jewellery box out. Get some beads going. Right now, because I've decided to use the silver bits, I think I'm going to use the silver attachments instead of the gold. Danglies now. Tie it all up, then we're going to do a proper flip through. I think that's absolutely everything. I'd like to get some feedback on this. What do you think about it? What do you think about the design uh, papers I made? If you have a look at the kit on Etsy, you can see what's included because I haven't used everything. Let's zoom out a little bit. 
there like that. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I love the feel of it. I love the size of it because it's not huge. It's a nice little journal to, as a gift for somebody, I think. That, someone who loves butterflies would love this. I love the dangly here, like that. I love the butterfly wrap around. That was an inspired idea. That is from when I did my insect journal and I made a little booklet of these. I think I resized it a bit larger. And cut it out. So you undo the ribbon. Um, got the velvet cover, front page, inside front cover. You can put your name and everything in there. I'd recommend something like this, maybe, or there, I don't know. That could be the date you started using it or something. Uh, this is a tag, and it's these beautiful butterfly pages that I used in one of my um, tags elsewhere. Now I'm going to get tag and tab muddled up now because I've used both in this, so, oh, excuse me if I do. There's this page, you can write on it, stick things in, squared pages, one of my design, th these two are design papers, that, 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 and I put that on the back. Some of them are printed back to back and some of them are attached things. Now this one I made a pocket, I sewed, I've done a lot of sewing, the pockets, and it's now got a tab, get it right Karen, with a butterfly on it. I've put two elements in here. This postcard I made a while ago, actually. This wasn't in the recent ones. And this tag. This is one of my eco-dyed papers. And a postcard. The other side of the deco. These two go so well together, these eco-dyed papers and this design paper. This is one of my uh, postcards. With writing space on the back with the brown paper. Tim Holtz Bulldog Clip. And here I've got a top pocket and I've put a postcard in there. This lovely brown paper for writing on. One of Jovi's lovely hand-dyed papers that she made. This is a picture from, it's either Pizarro or Cezanne. They do do quite similar landscapes, which is why I'm a bit confused. Um, so yes, there's that from a calendar and a tab. Just wondering if that's sticking properly. I think it is. Uh, this inside is um, one of my design sheets. It's the plain one with some lines on. It's very useful to have the odd plain one. This is the other side of a design sheet with butterflies on. And inside this, I've put this trifold tag. <laughs> I nearly said tab. I nearly said tab. And then on this page is the back with the brown paper you can write on. The other side of a design sheet beautiful butterfly on that page and a tab. <laughs> Is that the one hiding the error? Yes, that's hiding the error. We shan't talk about that. Some plain pages to work in. Some more plain pages. A decorative page. I love this decor. That's the one I used on the butterfly. It's one of my favourites. And to be honest, it's a Procreate brush. This flower design, but it's so effective. And I've got this little envelope with a butterfly on and the stamp from the entomology set of Tim Holtz and inside we've got a little booklet that I made and I love this design, love it. I've got some different papers in for writing in. In fact I might pop a ticket in just for the fun of it. <laughs> so that goes in the side pocket there. I'll put it in straight. And then the inside cover, this is not one of mine. This is from the works, an old works paper pad from a couple of years ago, I do believe. And then in this pocket, I've got a nice big tag. <laughs> the back of that lovely daisy design. Uh, one of Jovi's pages with a butterfly on, love it. And a tab with some danglies. Some clear paper, writing paper. Uh, another tag. <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm struggling with some butterflies and some pretty blue with this faint, you can very faintly see some lines there. I do that on purpose so they're not too um, in your face. Lovely butterfly, love this, gorgeous. And on this page, the lovely brown paper, um, a side pocket with a postcard in. So this has got lots of side and top pockets. I've managed to utilise those quite well. And I've got a ticket stuck on there with a little butterfly on. 
This is one of my design papers. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You can, you can tell it's butterflies, but a bit more abstract, perhaps. And then on this page, I've attached this um, tag. <laughs> That's the other side of the um, painting from the calendar. This is another one of Jovi's pages and I've stuck on one of my coloured in butterflies and I put one there as well. This has got a top pocket and that's got the, the three butterfly design, which I really like. That's one of my favourite pages in that design sheet. What do you think about the colour scheme? I know a lot of people prefer uh, more understated colours. These two pages I think go so well together colour wise. This is one of my um, Echo dyed papers, and this is one of my design sheets. It's got a pretty butterfly there. It's got the lined, um, the lines for writing on. If you want to, you can just paste over it if you want. The uh, tab, <laughs> tag attached with a paper clip. Pretty tag that with the butterfly on and the lace. And this page has a ticket, and I've put two tags in here, and they're both gorgeous I love this one because it's got the frilly bottom <laughs> and uh, this one has got one of my borders so I love that too and then because there wasn't much on this page I've made this I've very quickly made this little circle tag there and then there's the back page and this back page where you can do some final notes and then tie it all up with this ribbon now I've made the ribbon long enough so that if there's any extra additions it will cope. So this would make a nice album, it would make a nice gift for somebody. I love it, I just love it. Look at those edges, look at that top. Oh, I just love it. I'm going to be sad to sell it but I'm going to sell it because I've got enough journals to work on. Ooh. It's going to be a bit frilly and fraying. <laughs> I'll warn you, <laughs> there's going to be bits coming off it. But don't worry about that, it's texture. <laughs> so what do you think? Let me know. I want to know what people think. Am I mad? Well, I quite possibly am. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think this is something different and quite pretty. Do go and check out my Etsy shop for the design uh, papers. Um, they're inexpensive and they're easy to print off. Check that out and give me a thumbs up and give me some comments as well. I would love to hear what you think about this because I do feel it's a bit different. Thanks for watching. Bye.